Hi, my name is Kelly and you're watching That Smells Divine. In today's video, I am reviewing one of my top five favorite fragrances of all time. This is Byredo's Balda Freak. Now, I know I've talked about this fragrance almost a handful of times already on my brand spanking new channel. So after today, I promise to shut up about this fragrance and, or at least for a little while. Um, but I just feel like everyone needs to know if you don't already, I mean, I feel like everybody knows about this fragrance, but I also know that there are some of you watching that are brand new on your fragrance journey and you've probably never heard of this before. So it is my honor to share with you today my thoughts on Byredo's Balda Freak. Before we get into my review, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. It would mean the world to me. I'm a brand new channel and any support that I can receive is so incredibly helpful. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit that alarm bell so that you're notified of future videos when they come out. All right, let's dive right in. Okay, so Byredo's Balda Freak um, was a wonderful discovery that I made back in 2017, even though I believe it came out in 2009 or 2010. Um, it is a fragrance created by Jerome, Jerome Epinette, and he's a French uh, perfumer and he makes amazing fragrances. One of my other all-time favorite uh, fragrances, which is Atelier Bois Blanc, was done by him as well. So I did not realize that he did this fragrance when I smelled it um, at, I always forget the name of it, that giant department store in Paris. I actually bought this in Paris. Um, I had no idea until I got home and did some research on the fragrance and I was like, oh, of course I love this, that's why, right? And yeah, so I went shopping and I was like on a mission. I wanted to go home um, with like a knock my socks off fragrance. That was my goal. I had a couple fragrances with me that I was traveling with. I can't even remember what they were. Um, but yeah, my goal was to just find a fragrance that knocked my socks off and I didn't care if it was one that I had heard of before, one that I hadn't. Um, I just wanted to find the one, you know? And I was literally in that store for hours hours like I did the Tom Ford counter I did a uh, memo counter I did Joe Malone I did Killian's I did literally like every single perfumer that you could possibly think of that was available in that department store like I was basically about to go home when I walked up on the Byredo counter and I had heard of Byredo but I hadn't smelled anything and I gave some sniffs, I did some sniffs, got to this uh, Balda Freak bottle, it was like maybe the fifth one that I smelled. By this time too, my nose was like completely shot. Like I was dizzy and nauseous and like probably should not have smelled that many fragrances as I did that day. Um, but when I got to this, I literally took a sniff and I was like, yes, this, this is what I've been looking for. Like it was, it was like 100%. Um, Earlier that day, the closest I got to the 100% uh, when I was at the Tom Ford counter, I smelled Santal blush for the first time, which is one of my all-time favorites, but it was like a 99.5%. And I sat there at that Tom Ford counter and I was like, do I buy it? Like it's Tom Ford, it's not cheap, right? I was sitting there, I'm like, do I buy it? It's 99.5, like I'm absolutely in love with it, but there's just, it's just not 100%, you know? And I walked away from the Tom Ford counter and I was actually about to go back because like I said, I had made my way through almost the entire department store and I was like, well, if I don't find anything that's 100%, I'm going back for the Santal blush, right? And that's when I found this and I love Santal blush. I don't have it yet. I will have it at some point because I love it so much, uh, but this just beat it out by like a smidge. So let's go over the notes of this real quick. Okay, so Belle de Freak has top notes of marigold, lemon, black currant, bergamot, and African orange flower, mid notes of violet, cyclamen, and jasmine, and base notes of vetiver, musk, amber, and Virginia cedar. I've noticed that the notes listing with this fragrance varies depending on where you're looking. So it's different on the Byredo website than it is on Fragrantica. I just took those notes off of Fragrantica this morning. So if you've seen this in a previous video of mine, the notes listed were different because at one point I took them off the Byredo website. So just throwing that out there. Let's go ahead and give this a sniff. First of all, I love the Byredo bottles. Like, I mean, these are so beautiful. That's, yeah, I love it. All right, let's give it a sniff even though I've smelled it probably 5,000 times at this point. Mm, this is just so good, you guys. 
It's funny, like I always hear so many reviewers call this a citrus fragrance and I just do not get the citrus like at all. I'm always sitting there scratching my head and I'm like, I don't understand why you're calling this a citrus fragrance. Like it has bergamot in it, but like I don't really smell the bergamot or the lemon. There's lemon in it too. For me, it's like heavy violet, a little bit of orange flower, but the violet and the black currant kind of take over for me on my nose. Um, and then the vet, it's like a vetiver bomb. Yeah, to me, there's like nothing really, it's floral for sure, but there's nothing really citrusy and bright about this. Like people always call it a citrusy woody fragrance. Like I get why it's woody, like you definitely smell the vetiver. Um, yeah, the cedars, subtle in the background but like I don't get the lemon at all and so it's just interesting just to notice like we all have different noses and what one person picks up in a fragrance is not going to be what other people pick up so I just I remind you of that because sometimes you hear fragrance reviewers that like hate a perfume don't write it off because one person reviews it and says they don't like it and vice versa like if somebody's um raving about a fragrance, it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that you're gonna like it or that you're gonna even smell the same things from it, right? So it's all um, subjective and yeah, just take what reviewers say with a grain of salt. But yeah, this is just so pretty, you guys. Like, <sighs> okay, so basically I got this fragrance and I read something on the little card about um, something about France and Africa. I can't remember. I will put it up at the bottom here or something But basically just like the story of this fragrance, right? And to me it was interesting like I was reading that as I was smelling it and I was like, oh my god, this is literally like to me a clash of Parisian and like African notes and vibe and energy like to me. I've never been to Africa um, but to me, I just picture it being kind of like, like smelling kind of juicy and hot and tropical in like a overripe kind of damp sort of way, if that makes any sense. Sort of like how I picture the jungle to smell, but like a little bit more dusty, um, a little bit more woodsy. And then Paris to me is just, or, or France is just like, it's just floral and it's like, it's sexy and it's sweet and it's enticing and so I feel like this fragrance this might be a little too far out I don't know but I feel like this fragrance is like the perfect marriage between like what I want Paris to smell like and what I want Africa to smell like and put together it's just this beautiful like marriage and composition like it's just so pretty you guys like I I always have trouble finding the words to describe what this fragrance smells like and what the experience of it is. But for me, so I bought this fragrance in July or August, I can't remember what month I was in Paris. And then two months later, my partner and I went to Tulum in Mexico. And I brought this bottle down with me and I, I doused myself in it every day. So it's not necessarily something that you think, like it's not a Tulum fragrance, it's not a Mexico, it's not something you bring down to like 90 degree beach vacation in the jungle like it didn't really make any sense but I just wanted to bring something special to Tulum it was my first time in Tulum I fell in love with it there oh my god like Tulum is my happy place and this fragrance went so well with my experience like it's just the smell that's okay it might just be like a scent memory now but we would like spend the entire day at the beach right and we get tan and we get sweaty and hot and like we'd come in for like to go get like a coconut or something or like a raw juice or something we'd like come in ride our bikes down to one of the little huts and get something and then go back to the beach and then at night we would go back to our hotel we we're staying at B Tulum which if you've ever been to Tulum you know that hotel like it's so beautiful it's just absolutely stunning and we were staying there so we'd like go back to the room I'd have a glass of wine we'd like get ready and shower and get all pretty and then we'd like go out and Ian would get handsome I would get pretty and then we'd go out to a dinner every night that was like our routine and this fragrance reminds me of like that hour of like being sun kissed and kind of sunburnt and tired but also excited to go out and have a beautiful dinner like the hair is just washed I'm putting on a beautiful dress 
the sun is starting to go down like it's romantic and it's sexy and it's mysterious and it's playful and it's like that jungle vibe total magic jungle vibes with this fragrance for me if you brought this fragrance to Mexico I don't know if you'd have the same experience because it's literally a scent memory but that is what I smell so now to me this this is like the perfect thing to wear. This is the perfect thing to put on when you are getting ready for a date night. And you know, maybe it's hot out. Like I think this is such a great warm weather fragrance. Um, I think that it's appropriate for all seasons, but yeah, to me this just, it smells like the jungle. It smells like vacation. It smells tropical. It smells sexy. It smells exciting. Like I could totally, I have not been single for eight and a half years, but I can totally see myself like as a single woman, like back in my twenties, right? I mean, we've all done this. Like you get like all your girlfriends together, you go out to the bars or whatever, you go to like shows, whatever. And there's this sort of excitement of like, ooh, I'm going out, like who am I gonna meet tonight? Maybe I'm gonna meet the one. Like you just get so excited about like the potentials, right? This fragrance is like the excitement about potentiality. Like that's what this is to me. It is that, it's like this butterflies in your stomach um, as you're getting ready to go explore. Yeah, that's what it is. To me, this is not um, a, a comfort zone fragrance, not because wearing it puts you out of your comfort zone, but this is something that you um, would put on. It's gonna suit you best, I believe, in my perspective, if you put this on when there's like some sort of like thrill or unknown or excitement or um, yeah, just like meeting new people, seeing new places, like that's what this fragrance smells like to me. So anyways, I could go on and on and on. Again, I will not talk about this fragrance for a very long time because I know that you guys are probably like, okay, Kelly, we get it. You love it. Shut up. <laughs> so I'm going to stop there, but you guys, mm, I love this perfume. I will be getting another bottle for sure when this one is done. I should probably just like get the larger 100 mLs. I think they make this in 100 mLs, but anyways, Balda Freak, ah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Stunning, stunning. I know the haters are gonna hate, so there are some people that don't like this. Uh, because of that, and like I said earlier, your nose is your nose. You're never going to agree with everyone about everything as far as fragrance goes, or anything else for that matter. So order yourself a sample and try it out before you take the plunge on a full bottle. Um, but yeah, this is, this is it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate all of your support. Let me know in the comments, are you a Balda Freak fan? I know that we kind of have like a little cult thing going on, so let me know in the comments if you're also one of the people that absolutely loves this fragrance. Also, let me know if you don't. Like, that's totally cool. Own your um, opinion, right? Like, it's all, it's all welcome here, so um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next video. Hi. From the surrounding, okay, cut this out. What the fuck am I even talking about?